My organisation is all about supporting local people in their communities across the Pacific to be able to build the services that they need to support people with disabilities. So we are involved in training, um, we help introduce products that are suitable for the region such as wheelchairs, prosthetics and orthotics. I was able to travel to a few countries in the Pacific Islands and there was one moment when I was in a situation with a group of parents and a mother um, was sitting there having a cup of tea and trying to hold her child and provide him with a drink. He couldn't swallow safely. And I offered to take the child and to show her how she could give him a drink. And she burst into tears. This boy was four years old. No other person in the four years of that boy's life had ever taken the child from her and tried to provide that kind of support. And that was when I thought, I really want to use the skills that I have to support people like this. And that was the beginning and the inspiration. We've changed the conversation in the Pacific. So if we go back to you know, 10, 15 years ago, there were people there who needed wheelchairs who didn't know what to ask for. So we were able to work with the local communities to say, you know what, there's another way. There are good quality, appropriate, affordable wheelchairs that you could be using, but what we need to do is we need to train people to be able to assess and prescribe those wheelchairs. The awards recognise people from so many diverse sectors, many of whom are quiet leaders, and without these awards, their achievements wouldn't be celebrated. I think that it is really important that the awards are nominating people from all walks of life. Because the simple truth is that it is people from all walks of life who are making incredible contributions into their communities every single day.